I want to talk about the Universal Music Group fire situation. You know, we talked about this a while ago. New York Times had this huge expose on this massive fire that took place back in 2008 at their storage facility. Lots of master tapes there. Tons of reaction from the music community uh, because, you know, with those master tapes comes a lot of revenue opportunity. That's their work. If they ever want to release remixes, you know, it's it's not only just revenue wise, not only money wise, but it's the it's their artwork. You know, it means a lot to these artists. So there's huge reaction. We had talked about that. Then there was a lawsuit that followed the uh, the reaction to the New York Times story. Now we have an update on that story and the lawsuit and what's going on. And it's actually good news. Well, for the most part, if you're going to believe it at face value. But according to some court documents, and I'm getting this right from WEHM.com. According to some court documents obtained by Billboard, uh, the music giant didn't lose a lot of the master recordings that they are being accused of losing. A declaration filed late Wednesday night by UMG attorney Scott Edelman of Gibson Dunn and Crutcher claims that the master recordings for Tom Petty, Tupac Shakur, and Steve Earle did not suffer irreparable damage in the fire, calling into question their standing in the class action lawsuit filed against UMG back in June. Now, if you remember, it was Tom Petty's ex-wife, Jane Petty. It was Soundgarden, it was Hole, it was Steve Earle, and it was Tupac Shakur's estate that all brought this class action lawsuit to begin with. Hole was dropped as a plaintiff in the lawsuit on Friday after the ongoing investigation determined that none of their masters were lost in the fire. That investigation is still determining whether or not material by Soundgarden was involved in that devastating fire that day. The suit alleges that UMG failed to disclose to the affected artists until a little more than a month ago that the 2008 fire had destroyed their master recordings. It also declares UMG received an insurance settlement of $150 million, which they failed to disclose or share with the affected artist and accuses the music giant of failing to take necessary steps to prevent the fire in the first place. Plaintiffs in this suit are asking for more than $100 million in damages. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is, although the artists who are putting forth this class action lawsuit are, it's being discovered that their material wasn't lost, there still was a lot of material that was lost. Um, some of the other masters that were lost there, Nirvana, Guns N' Roses, R.E.M., The Eagles, Aerosmith, Chuck Berry, The Police, Janet Jackson, Aretha Franklin, Elton John, and Eminem. There's no word yet on what's going on with the rest of those artists. I don't know why they haven't joined the class action lawsuit. I don't know if they're planning on filing separate lawsuits on their own. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so UMG is not totally out of the forest here to begin with. But uh, the good news is here, at least they know that whole stuff wasn't lost. And uh, if this is true, what the lawyers are saying for UMG, Tom Petty, Tupac Shakur, and Steve Earle's material, it wasn't lost either. Now, at some point, they're going to have to produce this to them and show them and prove it. So I would imagine that that is to come. I wouldn't think that they're lying about that because they're going to have to be asked to cough up and show this material at some point or another. Uh, so I'm going to choose to take them at their word here on this one. But uh, no doubt about it, there were still lots of master recordings that were lost. And I'm sure a whole bunch of money that is still going to try and be recouped by some of these artists. And it was funny. We didn't really realize why they were trying to cover it up until we found out that they got a $150 million settlement from the insurance company. And then didn't share that with the people who obviously have a right to some of that money since that was their work. And it affected their future uh, revenue earning. Crazy story, another wrinkle, but I feel like this was some good news as far as the Universal Music Group fires goes, which is a bad story to begin with.